In this video, we will quickly go through the steps that you need to follow in order to translate an offline package from global site using STL Studio 2011. Whether we translate online or offline, the first thing that we need to do is to accept the task. And since we want to translate it offline, we go to the Work Offline tab. On the Work Offline tab, all the files that I have for translation are selected by default. However, the download options are extremely important, especially if you want to translate with SDL Studio. For the format, we select RTF list view. Editor doesn't matter. Insert resources as, we say TMX file 14B. So it is going to download us a translation memory export file that we can use with Studio. We say console TMX file, so we will get one big TMX file instead of small files. And this one is very important. Allow edit of lock segments, we'll say yes. And populate 100% target segments, we will say no, because Studio is going to do that for us. Once you make sure that these settings match your settings, and this is very important, you can click download to get the package. Save that on my desktop. And here is the folder that I downloaded from Global Site. I will unzip this folder quickly to see what is in there. And the most important two folders in here are the Inbox and the TMX. Inbox contains the files that we will translate. Remember, we downloaded the RTF format. And TMX contains the translation memory file that we will import to Studio. Now I'm ready to go to Studio and create a new project. Go to File, New, Project. You can leave the default template. You don't need to make any changes on the screen. Go Next. And this is where you give a name for your project as well as the location of the project. I like to put my projects in the same folder with the global site folder so I can have them contained. So I browse to this one and create a new folder called Studio. I'll select that one. And the project name, I will give the same project name as I downloaded from Global Site for consistency. Press panel. You do not need to put this folder under the Global Site folder. You're free to put it wherever you want to. But this will keep things a little bit cleaner and tidier. Go next, select your target language. In my case, it is Italian now. Italian, next, next. And this is where we add all our files for translation. You can either drag and drop or select a folder for this translation. I will drag and drop from the folder that I downloaded from Global Site. Advanced Analyze is complete. I'll be prompted to go to the next screen, which is where I added translation memory. Now we have a translation memory file that we downloaded from global sites, but it has to be imported into a local memory. So if you do not currently have a translation memory locally for this client, you may want to go to create and select new file based translation memory. Create a new translation memory. Select that translation memory and select import. This is where we will import the file from global site. Add files. And I'll browse to the folder that I downloaded. In the TMX folder, I will find the TMX file. I'll say open, next. In the import options, I would like to select that the imported data will be primarily used in mixed scenarios. Select next, finish, finish. And now my files are going to be converted to, converted to the translatable format and the translation memory will be applied. So the files will be ready for me to translate. Now that my project is ready, I can go to the files tab in Studio and translate the files that I have. I will quickly translate one of them so we can see the upload. I'll just copy the source. Save and close this file. So one of my files is partially translated now, and that's that's fine. 
I'm just going to assume that I translated these all and I'm ready to upload my files back to global site. Once you're all ready with the translations, you go to project, batch tasks and finalize which will create you the clean files that you can upload back to global site. Click next, select all the files and hit finish. Studio will clean the files, update the translation memory and will generate the files that you can use to upload to global site. Let's browse to the folder and see those files. Close that. This is my project folder. <coughs> Under the studio I have the Italian target folder. Under, under Italian, I have RTF files as well as the STL files. I do not want the STL files because these are the project files. What I want are the clean RTF files. You could upload them one by one if you want to, but if you have multiple files that you have translated and finalized, you can zip them all up into a folder and upload them all together. I will pull this translated. I'm all ready to put this package back to global site. I go back to global site, back to the activity, and this time on the work offline, instead of selecting download, I'm going to select upload. Browse to the package that I just created in the project folder. Select the zip folder. And click upload. Once the upload is complete, you will see the screen success message. If you get uh, tag errors, you will have to fix those errors in Studio and upload your files back again to Global Site. If you get any other errors that you're not able to fix or troubleshoot, send your files to support at gs at globalme.net, gs at globalme.net, and we will be happy to help you.